And this would be the lounge or living room. Look at those oak beams. 300 years old and as sound as the day they were put in. Mm. Now, don't waste your time looking for woodworm, Mr. Baker. The previous owner spent a small fortune doing the place up. Some people have got more money than sense. She said the noises got her down. Listen. Nothing frightening about that, is there? Oh, Paul. How Simon would have loved that garden. Hmm. There's even a little boy for him to play with. Where? By the rose bushes. Poor little mite. He, he looks lost. I must see if he's all right. Could you see anyone, sir? No. Uh, there's no children anywhere near here. This cottage is miles from anywhere. Yes. My wife's not very well, Mr. Crawford. We lost our own little boy earlier this year. She often thinks she sees him. Oh, I am sorry. This place isn't for her, then, sir. Why do you say that? Well, your wife needs people. It's far too lonely here. Well, she needs peace and quiet, and that's what this place has got. Our old house has too many memories. Well? He must have run off. But he was there. A little boy, thin, like Simon. He looked half starved. Mr. Crawford thinks it might be too lonely here for you. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't be lonely. Have we seen everything? Um, isn't there supposed to be a cellar? There is, sir, but we can't get to it. The doorway was in the passage, but the previous owner had it bricked up. Right then, sir. When would you want to move in? Mind that door, Alf. Right. Your way a bit. Yep. yep. Right. Hey. That's the lot, then. Thank you. And, uh... Oh, thank you very much. Sorry about the vase. Oh, come on, Bill. I can't think what's happened to my husband. It'll be dark soon. Your husband can't be too far behind. If you're worried, Mrs. Baker, bolt your door. You can't be too careful. We shouldn't have left her on her own. She's frightened out of her wits. She's not on her own. She's got the kiddie with her. What kiddie? What are you talking about? He was in the garden, watching us unload. Oh, I never saw him. You want your eyes testing him. Scruffy little urchin, about six. Goodbye, Mrs. Baker. Mummy? Mm. What is it, darling? Help me, Mummy. Help me. Who is it? Who is it? Paul? Is that you? Mummy? Mummy, help me, please. Please help me. I missed the turn off on the motorway, then I got hopeless. You shouldn't have left me here on my no, own. No, no, easy, easy. <laughs> oh, I'm so frightened. Tell me what happened. Well, the, the men didn't leave until later. They, they said you wouldn't be long, but, but I was worried. I was so tired, I must have fallen asleep in the chair. I heard a child's voice. What? I distinctly heard a child's voice. While you were asleep? Yes. No, I, at first I was, but then I was fully awake. And what did this voice say? It called Mummy, Mummy, and then something about, please help me. Mummy? So you were dreaming about Simon? No. No, I was awake, and it wasn't Simon's voice, and then there was this pounding, someone banging, it came from where the cellar doors bricked up. There was a child sobbing. Oh. Where are you going? There's a sledgehammer in the garage. You want that cellar opened up? I'll open it. Look at the mess. Uh, yeah, we'll clean it up tomorrow. Ah! I do believe. Yes, there's the door. If we can get some of this rubble out of the way. Those bolts are recent. Ah. And there's none of them. Our previous owner must have had shares in a locksmith's. Right. 
Now for whatever lurks behind that door. Doesn't look very inviting. Would you like to go first? I'm not going down there. Do be careful. Oh. Oh. It's as black as Newgate's knocker down here. No windows. No ventilation. Nothing. Ah, and down. Stone floor. What is it? Oh. It's like a fridge. No wonder he wanted to be let out. What's down there? Oh, come and see. No. You'd be disappointed. It's empty. Not even a coffin with a vampire. And certainly no little boys. But it's safe if you want to come down. I'll take your word for it. <sighs> Please come up now. Right. <sighs> your hands are like ice. Yes, we can use it for a deep freeze. <sighs> right. Well, there may be nothing down there, but that should stop it from getting out. Well, are you satisfied? I suppose so. You're right, it was a nightmare. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can apologise to me in bed. Now, oh, come on, leave the mess. We'll clear it up tomorrow. <laughs> So, in the kitchen, did you get everything? Oh, no fresh beans, only frozen. You're asking for trouble, leaving all the doors open. Uh, I hate feeling shut in. I'm sorry about last night, Paul, but I'm going to be all right. I know it. Good. You've been down the cellar? No, why? The door was wide open as I came through. I'm sure I bolted it last night. You did? Perhaps that little boy... What little boy... I know you think I'm imagining it, but I saw him in the garden again this morning, Paul. I did. I've already told you. Look, I know there's no other house for miles, Paul, but I saw him. I waved, but he ran away. Well, he could have got into the house and gone down the cellar. It's dark. He'll be frightened. We've got to get him out. Come with me. No, I am not going down there. Anyone down there? Nothing. When are you due to see Dr. Phillips next? I didn't imagine it, Paul. How did the cellar door come open? I couldn't have bolted it properly last night. Right. It's shut now, and it's going to stay shut. Paul... Are you awake? No. I'm fast asleep. What do you want? I can't sleep. <laughs> Thanks for waking me up to tell me. Take one of your sleeping tablets. They're downstairs. Mm. Paul? Mm. Pig. All right. I'll get it myself. Mm. Sleeping tablets. Ah. Water. got out. And he couldn't have got in. It was bolted. And now we know why she fitted the bolts. Mm. 
We might as well face it, Sue. We've got a ghost. A pathetic, frightened little ghost. Paul, are you ready? Yes. All locked up upstairs. Are you sure you want to go? I couldn't stay in this place another minute. <laughs> we could get it exorcised. No. Ah, you'll feel differently after a few days away. Oh, come on, I'll take the case. Paul, this cellar door, it's, it's open again. Let's get out of here. He wants me. Come on, Sue. But he wants me. There's nothing Don't we can do. Mr. Baker. Hello, Mr. Crawford. Come on in. Huh. Susan? Mr. Crawford, the estate agent. She's not too well again, I'm afraid. You got my letter? Yes, indeed. Hello. Good evening, Mrs. Baker. So, you want to put the cottage back on the market? Yes. You were right. It was too lonely for yes, us. I was afraid of that. When did you leave? About a month ago. Uh, you'd have missed all the excitement then. What excitement? The search for that little boy. What little boy? A little gypsy kid. They had a camp in the woods not far from your place. Of course, you saw him, didn't you, Mrs. Baker? The day I showed you around. <laughs> I thought you imagined it. There really was a boy? Yes, the poor little mite's mother had died a week or so before. He used to go off looking for her. One day, he just didn't come back. They had search parties out, but they never found him. It's very sad. What day did he go missing? Uh, July the 23rd. The day we left. Paul, suppose he got in before we left. The front door was wide open while you were loading the car. Now, don't fret yourself, Mrs. Baker. If he'd got in while you were there, you'd have heard him. Yes. Yes, of course. We'd have heard him. The Cellar by R. D. Wingfield starred John Pullen, Rosalind Ayres, Leonard Fenton, Fred Bryant, Gordon Dolew, and Elizabeth. Hey, in the door, I in the Where have you been? Oh, first I missed the turn off on the motorway, then I got hurt. Oh, you shouldn't have left me here on my oh, own. Now, easy, easy. <laughs> oh, I'm so frightened. Tell me what happened. <laughs> Well, the, the men didn't leave until later. They, and they said you wouldn't be long, but, but I was worried. Well, I was so tired, I must have fallen asleep in the chair. Now, I heard a child's voice. What? I distinctly heard a child's voice. While you were asleep? Yes. No, I, at first I was, but then I was fully awake. And what did this voice say? It called Mummy, Mummy, and then something about, please help me. Mummy? So you were dreaming about Simon? No. No, I was awake and it wasn't Simon's voice and then there was this pounding, someone banging it came from where the cellar doors bricked up. There was a child sobbing. Oh. Where are you going? There's a sledgehammer in the garage. You want that cellar opened up? I'll open it. Look at the mess. Uh, yeah, we'll clean it up tomorrow. <laughs> ah! I do believe... Yes, there's the door. If we can get some of this rubble out of the way. Those bolts are recent. Ah. Ah. There's none of them. Our previous owner must have had shares in a locksmith's. Right. 
Now for whatever lurks behind that door. Doesn't look very inviting. Would you like to go first? I'm not going down there. Do be careful. Oh. Oh. It's as black as Newgate's knocker down here. No windows. No ventilation. Nothing. Ah, and down. Stone floor. What is it? Oh. It's like a fridge. No wonder he wanted to be let out. What's down there? Oh, come and see. No. You'd be disappointed. It's empty. Not even a coffin with a vampire. And certainly no little boys. But it's safe if you want to come down. I'll take your word for it. Please come up now. Right. Oh. Your hands, they're like ice. Yes, we can use it for a deep freeze. Right. Well, there may be nothing down there, but that should stop it from getting out. Well, are you satisfied? I suppose so. You're right, it was a nightmare. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could apologise to me in bed. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could apologise to me in bed. Oh, come on, leave the mess. We'll clear it up tomorrow. So, in the kitchen. Did you get everything? Oh, no fresh beans, only frozen. You're asking for trouble, leaving all the doors open. Uh, I hate feeling shut in. I'm sorry about last night, Paul, but I'm going to be all right. I know it. Good. You've been down the cellar? No, why? The door was wide open as I came through. I'm sure I bolted it last night. You did? Perhaps that little boy... What little boy? I know you think I'm imagining it, but I saw him in the garden again this morning, Paul. I did. I've already told you. Look, I know there's no other house for miles, Paul, but I saw him. I waved, but he ran away. Well, he could have got into the house and gone down the cellar. It's dark. He'll be frightened. We've got to get him out. Come with me. No, I am not going down there. Anyone down there? Nothing. When are you due to see Dr. Phillips next? I didn't imagine it, Paul. How did the cellar door come open? I couldn't have bolted it properly last night. Right. It's shut now, and it's going to stay shut. Waking me up to tell me. Take one of your sleeping tablets. They're downstairs. Paul? Mm. Pig. All right, I'll get it myself. I suppose so. You're right, it was a nightmare. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could apologise to me in bed. Now, oh, come on, leave the mess. We'll clear it up tomorrow. So? In the kitchen. Did you get everything? Oh, no fresh beans, only frozen. You're asking for trouble, leaving all the doors open. Uh, I hate feeling shut in. 
I'm sorry about last night, Paul, but I'm going to be all right. I know it. Good. You been down the cellar? No. Why? The door was wide open as I came through. I'm sure I bolted it last night. You did? Perhaps that little boy... What little boy? I know you think I'm imagining it, but I saw him in the garden again this morning, Paul. I did. I've already told you. Look, I know there's no other house for miles, Paul, but I saw him. I waved, but he ran away. Well, he could have got into the house and gone down the cellar. It's dark. He'll be frightened. We've got to get him out. Come with me. No, I am not going down there. Anyone down there? Nothing. When are you due to see Dr. Phillips next? I didn't imagine it, Paul. How did the cellar door come open? I couldn't have bolted it properly last night. Right. It's shut now, and it's going to stay shut. Paul... Are you awake? No. I'm fast asleep. What do you want? I can't sleep. <laughs> Thanks for waking me up to tell me. Take one of your sleeping tablets. They're downstairs. Mm. Paul? Mm. Pig. All right. I'll get it myself. Mm. Mommy! Oh, where are you? Oh, dear God, what is it? 